Well, hey friends, welcome to my kitchen. Hey guys, my name is Mandy and this is Sweetly Home. We love to talk about all things heart and home on my channel. And if you are new here, hey, nice to meet you. Today I am teaming up with a few of my YouTube friends and we are going to share with you a whole bunch of videos all about the kitchen. In the playlist, link down below, you're going to find a whole bunch of videos from women sharing with you tours of their kitchen, their favorite organizing, spaces within their kitchen, different systems, and all kinds of kitchen goodness. I know for me, I love to be in my kitchen. It is just, I don't know, it's my place. I love to be in it. So I'm excited to bring you into my kitchen today to share with you a few of my favorite organized spaces in my kitchen. This collab was put together by Rachel from Day to Day Joys. Thanks Rachel for putting this together. You are such a peach. I appreciate it. If you are new here and want to hang out a little bit longer, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. So I don't know about you, but I found myself in the kitchen a lot and I love it. <laughs> but I find that I need to have an organized space. I can't function <laughs> with a whole lot of clutter, with a whole lot of mess. I need my kitchen to function and work really well. So today I'm going to share with you my top three favorite organized spaces within my kitchen. I have lots of videos on my channel about different spaces that I have organized in my kitchen, pantry tours and different cupboards and under the sink and different things like that. I will have a playlist to those videos linked down below so you can kind of watch and get some more organization inspiration. But right now we are going to get into the video. Let me share with you how I store our spices. I don't keep them in a cupboard, I actually keep them in a drawer, in this drawer right here. So here is my spice drawer, I have it right next to my stove, it makes it really super easy and convenient to pick out the spices that I need to season up our food. I picked up these jars from Ikea more than 10 years ago, and I love them because they reminded me of little candy jars. I also like the fact that they can sit in your drawer just up and down like I have them. There is also a slanted back on these so that they can sit in your drawer so that you could see the glass side of your jar. However, for space sake, I have them up and down. Now when it came time to label my jars, I went a really simple route. I just used plain washi tape and a Sharpie marker to write on what each spice is. I spent a lot of time looking for labels or dreaming about doing some vinyl lettering on my spice jars themselves. However, sometimes our tastes change um, and I just wanted to be able to switch things out easily if I ran out of a spice that maybe we weren't crazy about. I generally have my spices in alphabetical order. I, from where I stand, I can see the label of each of the spices, and because I'm always cooking, I have an idea of exactly where they are in my drawer. Next, I have this small little line of spice containers, and again, I did the same thing with the washi. I like to buy my spices in bulk, and when I buy in bulk, I sometimes don't need a whole lot of the, that particular spice. For instance, pumpkin pie spice. This is often a very seasonal spice, so I don't need a lot of it. Not a lot of my meals throughout the years or my baking requires pumpkin pie spice, so I don't need a lot of it. I just pick up a little bit at the bulk food store. In buying my spices in bulk, I'm able to save a ton of money because sometimes recipes, maybe you're just trying a new recipe, and rather than going to the grocery store and paying a premium price for a particular spice that you may not often use, you can go to the bulk store and get it for pennies on the dollar. Next I have these jars. These came from our dollar store. They were three for a dollar. I have my cinnamon sticks and extra spices stored in these. And again, I have them all labeled with the washi tape. Here I have got some spices that are from a company. For instance, this is from um, a Canadian company called Epicure. And they all just fit very easily right in this next row. Then I have a few bulk spices here in the back. And I also have some cooking powder that I use for Trim Healthy Mama here some cornstarch, 
And in this canister, I have my bay leaves. These are, um, this canister is just an empty jelly jar and they held all the bay leaves perfectly. So in the back are some more spices. And in this little container, I picked this up from the Target Dollar Spot a long time ago. Um, and I have canning rings and canning lids in here. I have a few sprinkles here on hand. And again, these also came from the bulk food store. And lastly, I have this little container here in the back. And inside are some dip packets, like pre-made dip packets. Just kind of a, a little assortment of random things here in the back. So having this kind of all laid out really works for me. The key here is to find a system that works for you. Sometimes we can also get caught up in the idea of needing to have the perfect label or the perfect system. And I will tell you that I started off with just these jars and then I built upon it finding things that just sort of fit in my drawer. So remember that simple systems, things like washi tape and Sharpie work perfectly well. The idea is to have your spices labeled so that you know what is in the container and to not go for perfection. Sometimes that perfection can hold us back from making a space functional. So next I'm going to show you how I organize our corner cupboard. Okay, so here is our corner cupboard organization. Corner cupboards are notorious for being awful to organize. It's an awkward space to fill and oftentimes people just don't know how to fill it in a way that's going to maximize the function of their cupboard. Now, we have decided to use this cupboard to hold our dishes like plates and bowls and then I also have it holding our mixing bowls. Now I will say that I do have a lot of mixing bowls actually in use. On the second shelf, I typically have a bowl in the back. It's a white bowl. And in each white mixing bowl, there are also more mixing bowls that are white. I love the look of white. I think it's very classic and it goes with everything. So um, I've chosen to maximize my space by keeping bowls in the back, but also keeping pretty bowls right in the front so that you can um, use those things very easily, but it's also great storage. So I keep our dinner plates and our salad plates right in the front. There are a couple that are dirty, so we have a set of eight of both both of the salad plates as well as the regular plates. And then I keep the bowls in the back. I have them nested on top of each other. And as you'll see, I actually do have nine bowls. We have a Target a store near us that's kind of like a liquidation Target store. And I was able to pick up an extra dish that would go with our bowls so that they would be even. The next spot that I'm going to share with you is our kid cupboard. And that is this cupboard right down here on the bottom. When we moved into our home, this was the first system that I set up. So why is a kid cupboard important? Well, I can tell you that this has given my kiddos such independence when it comes to getting things for their meals. My little ones can easily reach in and get cups, plates, bowls, silverware, whatever it is that they need. They can help set the table and I'm able, when I'm done washing their dishes, I'm able to give them to the kiddos and they are able to put their dishes away. So it's starting to save me a whole lot of time in the kitchen. So the idea here is I layered my items again. The items that we use most frequently are here in the front. In this bin here, we have all of our cups. So these are all cups that the kiddos can use. All of the lids and straws and things like that live in this bin. In the back, I have a bin of insulated snack bags and we can use those if we're traveling or if we're out and about and we need to keep some things cold. So here in the bottom, again, the items in the front are the things that we access most frequently. In this bin right here, we have got all of the kiddos' silverware. Now, we are now a homeschooling family, but when my daughter was in school, this is where we kept her lunchbox. And her job every day when she came home from school was to empty her lunchbox of all of the containers and any trash and to put her lunchbox away. At this point, we haven't yet moved the lunchbox because we are going to be doing a few things with homeschooling that will require a packed lunch, so I just have it here for now. In this bin right here, we have got all kinds of lunch containers. The bin behind holds more snack containers. Then we have a couple more crates. The top crate holds our popsicle molds, and then the bottom one has some cookie cutters for cutting out sandwiches. 
And then that little drawer system in the back, when my daughter was in school, I had to label everything. And so I had just made some pre-printed labels with her name on them and I stuck them in that little drawer system. So if you don't have a spot in your kitchen for your kiddos to be really independent, I would really suggest having a drawer or a cupboard dedicated just to your kids' things. It really gives them such a sense of independence and it really lightens your load as a mom because you can have them getting out their dishes, putting things away, and it's all in one spot and really easy for them to manage. Well, there you go. There are my top three favorite organized spaces within my kitchen. If you guys are interested in a whole kitchen tour where I kind of share with you everything behind the cupboards and drawers and the whole layout of the kitchen, let me know down in the comments below or give this video a thumbs up. That will help me know if that interests you at all. Make sure that you click the playlist down below to check out all of the other kitchen videos. I'm really excited to kind of work in my kitchen today and filter through that whole playlist and get inspired. I hope you guys have a really great day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.